All right, folks, here we go. Mike DeShane oh. versus Jason Shore. Decided to lag it. And... Coming right at you. Whew. Mike got it. Mike to be breaking. Got it? Do it. Can you stop by and say hi? Break. I'm sorry, Jason's racking. Mike to break. Correction. As Mike steps away, takes a quick break. I'll run to the men's room, I believe. Doesn't like the rack. Jason moves it out and no, Mike still doesn't like the rack. I don't think. No, he does. Good enough. It's gonna be Mike DeShane to break in rack number one. Winter side match. make a ball on the break and nothing is tied up either Let's see what happens Just give me a few minutes Steve I'll be right with you just want to finish yep. not a problem sir this out there for everybody oh, I already shared it so all my friends have been watching <laughs> Jason also has some experience in this table. He's played quite a few matches on this table. He knows how it plays. It's just a matter of getting the speed down and he needs some good. All right, I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. Where are we? We're on the five ball. Yeah. How's the angle on the five? Eh, I think he. I think he'll just roll this up. Yeah, just and roll play it along. Play the shot. Shot on the six. Not yeah. long, but you know. No. Yeah. Just yeah. Shot. Jason uh, needs like a snooker table to be calling shots long. It's true. Uh, he makes these uh, 
nine foot tables look like ball boxes that he fires long shots in. Well, I know he has a nine foot diamond in his house that he practices on, so that's always. Yes, he did. He bought it from the turning stone right to his house. Oh, he did? I didn't know that, yeah. To his pool room. Yeah. His in law's pool so that's room. That's definitely. US uh, that's uh, definitely good to practice on. Anytime you can practice on a nine foot diamond. Oh. Oh, wow. He don't have to like it, but he's makeable. He's not going to forget how that rail bounced. No. I'll tell you that much. No, he, yeah, he can, he can still cut this. He's going to use the bridge. Notice the snooker stand. Yeah, for the, yeah. He knows how to use one of those. Yeah. Just like that. Mike breaks the first rack, breaks dry. Jason runs out just like that, and all. And so Jason's up one nothing. Don't forget, guys, we'll be heading down to uh, Castle Billiards in East Rutherford, New Jersey, December 5th through the 6th. Jason Shaw won the last one. Mike DeShane doesn't have his name up there yet, but Mike Davis does, and so does Oscar Dominguez. That's going to be a free live stream November 6th, November 5th through the 6th, right out of Castle Billiards. John Trubiano and Minnie and Scott Simonetti and Marana, everybody down there, we're going to see them. And I'm sure a New Jersey pool player will be there. And don't Did you forget, say November 5th? December 5th. Oh, 6th. December 5th, okay. Yeah, that's the uh, Christmas classic, the okay. fourth annual. Gotcha. And don't forget about AccuStats, December 17th through the 20th. we got to get back to the match. Yeah. As these two players are going Jason, head to head. Jason Shure and Mike DeShane. Jason DeBrake break and rack number two. Next year, Jason will be free to travel the world. I believe his papers will all be ready to go. And I. Tell you what, I think he's going to be the first one to make the Moscone Cup next year. Yeah, the way he's playing, absolutely. But, uh, and, you know, and he's funny because that, that was that cup break that I was talking about. And Jason, he hit it good. You know, he made, he, the three ball went right in the corner. Let's get off that rail. And he's kind of shook his head. Kind of shook Four his nine head combination. Room. Yeah, he just kind of shook his head a little yeah. bit because he didn't want to be on the rail on the two ball. The four doesn't go. That's so a play yeah, to four right. nine here. Just roll up. No, that's true. Or maybe from here he might even play the billiard. Yeah, actually, might be kind of the same shot you talked about earlier. Play you play the billiard, yeah. yeah. You play the billiard, and then the four ball goes back up table. If you make the nine, it's over. If not, you will be a tough shot on the four ball. Well, oh. He did, but he didn't play the safe. No. Mike's got a straight four ball here. He did it good. Oh boy. He's okay. I think he might have overcooked that one a little bit. I think he'll just come back and forth here. Yeah, double, the double, long, double long rail. One, oh my. Okay. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> I thought he was going into the seven. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> the eight appears to go right by the nine. I guess it does. Uh, I Mike's think it does. Yeah. yeah. He's gonna trade as close as he can. <laughs> it is very. It is close. 
Oh yeah, look ahead, eyes. No doubt, right? Nine in the same pocket. And it's one apiece. Right there, guys. Jarrett has his new album out, Great Musical Journey, Home for the Holidays. There's some of the songs that are in the background. If Jarrett, you're still out there and you want to handle some kind of contest, I know you want to give away a couple of CDs to our chatters. You're going to have to handle that on your own, pal, because I got my hands full. Steve can vouch for that. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, we appreciate it. And what a beautiful album this is. Uh, Jared, uh, the jazz man, we call him, if he's still out there in our chat, he sent me numerous texts uh, yesterday, and I just couldn't do anything yesterday. So I want to say thank you to Jared uh, for making that offer, and if he wants to handle the uh, contest or get together with Troy in the contest and give a couple of albums away, that's totally up to him. We want to thank Joe Tucker. And of course, uh, Diana Hoppy. Oh, that's not the Diana Hoppy. That's the Diana Hoppy. In fact, we got to hop back to the match. Mike DeShane is set to break. We're going into game three. We're tied at one apiece. Let's hop you back in the match. Back in the match. Let's hop you in the match. <laughs> He's got the three ball in the corner. One ball, four ball track, and oh boy. He's looking at a combo here. There's no pat. There's no open shot in that one. Unless he wants to play a 1-4 carom, which I don't really see him doing. It's possible, but... That'll be a good match they just announced. Clayton versus Tim Perry. The buzzsaw. This is the final four winners bracket. Yes, you're absolutely right. That this match that you're watching. Yep. I don't know how many players we got left. What, 24 altogether, maybe? I don't know. We're going to be here a long time. Oh, left? I think there's less than that. Is there? Yeah, I think so. No way. I think so. We did? Yeah. Oh, yeah, the last match went almost Hill Hill, so they might have got a few rounds in between there. I'll find out uh, how many yeah. players are left. I mean, I placed. 25th, and there were there've been matches that have finished. So, okay, yeah. So I think. So we got 16 I was, here. Yeah, I think so. Cause I, yeah, I was one out of the money. So and okay. I think. Might be down to final 16, but this match here is out of the winners bracket. Yeah, this is winner side, final and the four. other winner side is Jeremy Sosi versus Ron Costanzio, which we just watched Ron. Right. Beat Nelson. Mike's got just enough angle here to make the four come off one rail, up one rail for the five ball on the side. No, and no, you could like to play it in the corner, just straight in. So, Chat. I thought he was just gonna come up higher and play the five on the side, but. Got to hold the cue ball here. 
people might disagree with someone who was playing the Moscone Cup this year. <laughs> you got a little funny on the six. One rail, right back up to seven. Yeah. Well, you could even spin it two rails. Go short rail, go. long rail, and come back. Yeah, up. with the inside. Yeah. Yeah, that's what he did. Two rail inside. Two rail inside, and seven ball in the corner. Uh, Bernard is here and his nephew. Always having a good time with these guys. Mike out. Up two to one now. He got out there. All right. We were talking about uh, Black Dave uh, the other time we were that I was here in Snookers when Tommy Seminero Jr. sent in a picture of Sammy Guzman and Black Dave when they were in uh, juniors, and nobody could remember Black Dave's uh, last name. And, Bernard is here from Connecticut. And Bernard uh, told somebody to tell me Dave's last name was Carver. So it was Dave Carver, Davey Carver, and uh, Sammy Guzman. I, I don't know if I still have that. I know I still have the picture on my hard drive, uh, external hard drive at home, but I don't have it here in the broadcast, or else I would put it up on the screen. Mike's checking, out, Mike's checking out the rack. You're looking on both sides of it, looking for that yeah. gap. Yeah, well, and you know something? Mike Zuglin actually approached both of these players prior to the match taking place, and Mike Zuglin said, look, I don't want to, you know, have this prolong any longer than what it has to. So you guys with the rack, uh, if you got any kind of issues, let's just uh, keep the game going. Yep. You know, let's, uh, let's get over that. Right. But, you know, that's the way Mike Zuglin is. But, uh, you know, both players yep. have to make sure that they get in the rack, get uh, a good uh, rack. Absolutely, yeah. Nice shot on the side there. Two in the corner, three. Looks, a little, looks like it might be tight in the sides. So you might just put that three in the corner and then four in the side. Just like that. It's a nice speed shot there. Yeah. Four plays on the side. Five on the same side. Down for the six. Yeah, Don't uh, want to be too straight sure. here. Oh boy. Yeah, he's yeah, he's pretty sure he's on this ball. Yeah, I wonder if I'll try to play this rail first. Try to come out further, but or just stop the rock right there. I think he's got enough eight. to have an angle where you can just draw back out of this or go forward. I like drawing out of it. Oh, he did. Okay. Close to the side pocket. I thought he was straighter than that. All right, I thought he was going more toward the corner where he could do that. Mike DeShane leads here three to one over Jason Shore, Eagle Eye. Uh, Mike DeShane is the reigning champion of last year. Local favorite, this is his room. Sponsored by Snookers. OBQs. Mike DeShane. 
see the patches on Jason Shore, Checchio, and Kings of Vapor, the Kings of Billiards, up in Akron, Ohio, Muchi, Kamui, and Kamui. I have, been kind of, I have been kind of curious to try out that drink that Jason sponsored by. Check you. Yeah. Yeah. Have, it's, you, uh, have you tried it? Not yet. It's, no. Uh, it's got all kind of natural yeah. ingredients to it, and it's supposed to keep you focused and yeah, mellow during a match. Six yeah. ball. My buddy uh, Dharma in. swears on Five Hour Energy. <laughs> Doesn't give you any cr crash or. So. You notice Mike DeShane moving his cue ball in the box from one side to another. Yeah. He, he reads the rack. And oh, he yeah. reads it well. And uh, Joe Tucker, i uh, tell you what, if you want to learn anything. Absolutely. Yep. Like that. And Mike DeShane spent a lot of time with Joe Tucker. It's JoeTucker.net. Uh, you mentioned the promo code Upstate Owl, all one word. And uh, you're going to get on board and start learning how to read the rack for like $8 or something. Something ridiculous. Uh, oh, wow. Joe, yeah, that's crazy. Joe's letting it all go. And he's been studying the rack for umpteen years. Yep, I agree. No, I uh, I actually have all three of his DVDs. He's actually nice enough to sign the second one for me. Um, he's got Racking Secrets 1, Racking Secrets 2, and then he's got a Rail Drill DVD. The drills, yeah. Yeah, and I've got all three of them. So they're great DVDs. They really are. He really knows his stuff. What a shot that was. He had a half a pocket to make that three ball past the one, and he just drilled it. That was an insane shot on that one. Yeah, he is really in gear here. Yeah, it looks like the Mike DeShane show right now. Jason yeah. can't, he didn't do anything wrong. He just no. can't get out of his seat. Mike's uh, shooting exceptionally well, uh, the way he's supposed to, and uh, he's doing his job. And at the one time Jason got up, was the, the one rack that he won. Mike broke dry, Jay ran out, and he pretty much hasn't shot it since then. <laughs> He is hitting him clean. He's hitting him good. Pretty much standing room only now in this main in this main room. It is getting crowded in here. And we have yet to see the finals. Or semifinals, for that matter. Ron Costanzio against Jeremy Sosi, the other winner's side match. It's 2-1 in favor of someone, I'm not exactly sure. I just want to that. let everybody else know that uh, I didn't mention that Mike DeShane is also sponsored by the Kings of Vapor and the Kings of Billiards. Both yes. of these players are sponsored by... Cat Bowling and the crew and Stephanie, everybody up there yep. in Ohio. Uh, the Kings of Billiards and the Kings of Vapor are doing a lot for players, sponsored numerous players, including Earl Strickland. Yep. John Mora. Scott Frost. And you'll see the patch on Mike's left arm, and you'll see the patch on Jason's uh, back of his neck. That's the Kings of Vapor. Yep. Give them a big shout out, Tommy, the whole crew up there. And while well, Jason's still racking, I, I gotta say sorry, Lindsay. Buddy Corey just got knocked out by Jared Damalia. Jared won the final score nine to three. Oh, we're, we're dropping stuff. Jason's still racking. Having a problem with those balls, the freeze.
I do agree with what Al said. You know, it, uh, a part of it could be just just a spot on the table. Why they won't freeze? Yeah, that they got to get rid of that spot idea. Right it's about time that uh, we eliminate that. Did it get under the case? Maybe an overhead, an overhead laser light. Pinpoint the ball. As soon as you're done racking, you just turn it off. Yep. No, yeah, I absolutely agree. Jason, right on top of it. Okay, he, doesn't, he doesn't like it. <clears throat> I gotta give a shout out to uh, Dave and Lisa, Christy, uh, they, they were the ones that actually refelted re re these tables. I think just a week or two ago. They did a great job with the tables. They were playing great. Mike says that's good enough. Let's see what size. Mike switches sides once again. Yeah, he did. Watch this. Uh, three, three ball, ball right? Yeah. Three ball is the wing ball. Right in the corner. And, oh, football's on. What the heck was that? Yeah, I I absolutely agree. And, I you know, I can't stand when people do that because, you know, one person does it, then another person does it. I mean, you're not in the exact same spot. It's just that's a big problem. And I, people do it at the... You're talking about people banging on the ball. Yes. And the I, yeah. 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 That it shouldn't be done at all. No. You know, people think that slate, which underneath this felt, is a material that uh, can't be ruined because it's a, you know, slate. It's supposed to be hard, you know, like a rock. But yeah. it's not. It's, no. like, it's actually a soft material. It act actually can bend, believe it or not. Yeah, I mean, there's a couple people at um, the, pl the place where I play league, one of the places I play league out of the Crow's Nest and Plast down in Hampshire. A couple people I've noticed who do that, and it just it drives me absolutely crazy when right. people do that because you. Here it's just distracting, and it's like there's, you don't need to do that. And then your mechanic comes in with Bondo. Look at this. The eight didn't go wow. in the combination, but the two went. Mike waves his hand off to Jason to say, hey, I got a roll there, but I'm not really that sorry. I'm still at the table. Yeah. I got to concentrate. <laughs> That's, yeah, if, absolutely. Jason's still stuck in the kind of like the electric chair, if you call it. Oh, wait. Mike's, yeah, he's a little funny on this, but. Be all right. Well, that's what happens when you get out of line, and it's just a matter of you got to get yourself back in line, though. All right. Ch Jason, sit there. Please give me another shot at the table. All right, players on table number six, Jared Damali and Nelson Oliveira. On table number six, Jared Damali and uh -huh. Nelson Oliveira. Table six. Cut this all the way up. Seven ball could be a little funny depending on where he lands here. I mean, if you pinpoint accuracy, cut this all the way up and go right between the seven nine, uh, the yeah, the seven nine. That's really tough to do. I'll order that. That works too. Didn't want to take a chance on getting snooker behind the nine, so I figured try to feather it in and take the cut on the seven. Oh boy! And once Mike just again, said to himself, "Unbelievable." He just said it to himself. I could read that look. But know. once again. Jason with not really a. I don't think slow that, roll. I don't think that goes in. Slow roll. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I think he tried to double kiss that in actually. Jason walks around uh, back to his seat. And yeah, like, what did I just do? He's uh, he's just frustrated. How lucky I mean, can that be? Yeah, exactly. I mean. Oh boy. Mike tried to go around the eight and shoot it in the same pocket as the seven and wound up kicking from behind. Yeah, the I mean, eight. he's got to shoot this straight up the rail, but if you just, fo just follow it, you can put a nine in the other corner. 
looking straight enough where you can just follow it. Like that. But yeah, it's unfortunate because, you know, Mike missed and unfortunately Jason got to the table but didn't have a clean shot and then just gave the table back to Mike and now Mike threatening with this nine ball to go up five to one against Eagle Eye. Looking at the rack. One side, check the top of it, the other side. Doesn't really like it. Let's see if he changes sides again. Oh, he stayed on the same side as last time. Watch the four ball track toward the corner. There it goes. Five to one, folks. Going by that quick, as it's going one way right now. The three ball in a pretty yeah by the five ball by the yeah. five there. And Mike's gonna have to deal with it if, if he makes this one. Well, to Mike, there was no doubt. Yeah. He's shooting that solid right now. Yeah, he's pretty confident right now. He's. I like him getting behind this five and kicking behind the five and leaving the cue ball right there. Rail first and then kick behind the five. Well, he just played the window. Yeah, he's going to cut this three up. Why take the chance of taking that shot, I guess, uh, and getting safe? Nice shot. Cut the three up, maybe. I don't know if he's going to go inside English and play the five corner, but he's going to come outside he, and play. He's just five. shooting that solid that I would say he would took that shot. Yeah. Yep. Inside, inside English. Five ball down the rail. I don't think it plays in the side. <laughs> nah, he's looking down the corner. Which makes more sense, because you play it down the corner, then you come off the long rail with the cue ball, and then you go play the six in the same pocket, actually. Maybe Just like that, yep. Absolutely. Some inside on the seven ball, I think, to get back. Just a little bit inside to go two, two rails, maybe three rails for the eight ball. The seven, one rail, two rails. Yeah, he's good. Cut the eight up. And Mike threatening to put another beat on the score to go six to one with this nine ball bang six one just like steve said It's killing Jason. He's dying to have a shot, just a clean shot again. That's, he really, he really has done nothing wrong in this match so far. Mike's just running out, and the one shot he missed, you know, Jason didn't have a clean shot. He really is not. I don't think he's missed one open ball yet, and he's down. Uh, I'm sorry, six to one, I think. <laughs> So 
so it just it, it it's it's amazing you know to do no wrong and to be down six to one Mike's just playing that solid right now. It's going to take a lot for anyone to beat him. <coughs> now it's taking a little bit of a stretch break. Mike looking at the rack. Jason thinks it's good enough. He put the rack in. Mike looking at one side, looking at the other side. And all right, good enough. And he breaks from that same side. Check the, watch the three ball. Track to that corner. Again, right in. And Made an insurance ball too, so you need another ball on the break. Six balls hanging. Two ball can cut in. Cut it in. Where's that cue going? Oh boy. Well, it's not going to be easy. It went someplace that I didn't want it to go, but uh, he should be okay here. Yeah. The way he's banking and making balls, and that six ball making that side pocket super big right now. It's just if he hits the inside of the six, he's fine on this bank. Yeah, unless he hits the six too full, and then yeah. he just well, bobbles. You're, you're aiming for the center of the pocket. Right. Just like that. And he, and he, the six. he, he, caught he the got five. in trouble. Yeah, he caught the five. Jason may have a shot at the table. Yet to be seen. Yeah, it's going to kick the two, the four, all the way down by the nine. It's going to kick two rails behind it. And kick behind it, and Jason is going to have a he's going to have a shot here. Well, the eight does ball it, there does it play him past some you? havoc, you know. It's uh, not the easiest of shot. Yeah, I wasn't sure if it played past. No, it definitely does not play past the eight. It's going to have to play a combo. All right, now Jason's trying to get the wheels going here, and can Jason split the puck? Yeah. Yeah, he was thinking about he, the six ball making it large. Yeah. Oh, look at this! The nine ball is going to come to help him though. Wow. Well, this might be the the tide that turns the tide right here. If you know, Jason gave an opportunity at the table. But he actually did what I was afraid that Mike was going to do. He hit the, he caught that six, and it bobbled. And, you know, I think he actually would have made that bank if the six wasn't there. Because the six made it a pocket. Mike's looking at one rail, I think, or two rails. It looks like he's going one rail. Or no. No. Maybe he did go one rail. He hit it thin, but let's see. Jason should be able to cut this in. They don't call him Eagle Eye for nothing. Nice shot. Where's the cue ball going to end up? It's a little funny to get to the six. Uh, he should be alright. He's going to draw. Nicely done. You get that good. You weren't. <clears throat> okay, Jason finally gets to put another beat up. Six to two. Yeah. And he can run him.
All right, so Mike is racking for Jason now. <laughs> While he's racking, I just want to thank, thank the opportunity for Upset Al to show up, man. He does a great job here. Hey, without you, we couldn't do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you guys are uh, awesome. Richie Run Racks uh, in the chat, you know. Always. Richie, Richie coming down and helping out. And yep. His buddy, I forget his buddy's name, I'm sorry. Uh, and uh, Probably everybody tiny. else, Tom McGonigal. Who? Was it Tiny? Uh, they go Brockton Fast. I hear someone call him that. I believe uh, Robert Gusa. I think he was in the that booth sounds, yesterday. That sounds like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know him from. Yeah, I want to thank him and everybody else that uh, yeah. kept us company here and uh, yeah. helping out because it, it does help. Five ball this time. Yeah. Uh, Jason's making the wing ball. Yeah. Shot on the one is a difficult shot. Not impossible, but look at the two ball. Yeah. If you if you back cut it, sort of say into the bottom right hand corner, yeah, the cue ball is going to come down this way. And you'll get position on the two, but right. you know, yeah. you're talking about two difficult shots right. back to back. No, you do a great job. So I just like to show my appreciation. For yeah, well, we here, appreciate so. it. Like I said, yeah, no, you know, yeah. we do appreciate it. Yep. Yeah. Uh, like I said, without uh, everybody doing a little part, it, it just doesn't become possible. And especially Steve and Regina Goulding here. Oh, yeah. This wouldn't be possible at all. I just saw him walk by, actually. I think he's... Yeah, he's somewhere around. I just saw him. Like... He's down there. He's sweating his, uh, his boy in this match here. Yeah. Sweating Mike's match. Yeah. Uh, we're talking about Steve Goulding, the owner of Snickers. But he, he played this event, too, actually. He, he always does, yeah. Yeah, he actually... Was right next to me. Uh, oh, no, he got left safe. Uh, he was actually right next to me in my loser side match. Um, I think he got knocked out of the same round that I did. But Mike's gonna try to make this off the rail. Trying to make this spin it. Yeah. It sure. is. And where is he gonna? Oh, hello. Well, it's a hello nine ball, but I it's mean. It's a free shot at the nine. He's gonna have to take it. Yeah. But which direction is the cue going? That eight ball makes that side pocket big. Oh yeah. With the cue coming off of the two, so. Unless you try. Super careful. Unless you try ducking here somewhere, but I don't know if he's. To ducking, it's turkey season. Uh, it's, yeah. <laughs> Maybe he's roll behind safe. the three. No, he's. Playing behind the eight, and shot. The eight and the three. Ooh. And he's got the six there too on the other side. I tell you what, that's a pretty good safe right there. Jason going to uh, full his break jump. cue. Uh, jump cues are not allowed. And uh, yeah. Mike DeShane says, hold on, I want to get uh, Mike Zuglin. Oh, uh, yeah. Because the six and the two are so close together like that, you know, and you, right. you're jumping over. Look at these balls here. That's a pretty far jump. That is. And, yeah, I... and you're not only jumping over the eight, you're jumping over the nine. You know what I mean? And unless he can land between the nine and the three and possibly hit the two. Not only that, but the cue ball so close to that rail, you have to worry the cue ball staying on the table. I mean, that's this is not an easy jump. No jump cues allowed. You get to jump with a full length break cue or playing cue. Wow, did he hit that good? Hit it real good. He put his hand in the air and you know apologized because you know he got a roll. He didn't mean it. No, yeah, he didn't mean to get behind the nine ball, but that was a heck of a jump. He didn't mean to say I'm sorry either. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's just something that we do, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's almost like a uh, inborn habit. You know, was a, when one really hit Muscle it. memory. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's one thing I think I'll have to learn how to do. I mean, not... I mean, or work on it is jumping full cue because a lot of tournaments now they don't allow jump cues. Um, just they feel like, you know, short cue is way too easy to jump with. Which I know uh, Earl Strickland will definitely agree with me on that. that Who happens jumping to with the short own cue. He owns a short jump cue too and he uses it. But I think they should be allowed. Earl does? Earl does, yeah. Oh, okay. Steve, he has a Steve Lomax jump cue. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, I think they should be allowed in every tournament. Uh, they are a product. Yeah, that's true. Uh, that's on the market for yeah. pulling billiards, and uh, 
let's uh, support these companies. If you eliminate junk fuse, well, that's, that's kind of hurting their business in a way. No, that is true, yeah. But, you know, Mike is old school. He's, he's ran this tour for many years, and he changed only a couple of things through the years, it's like the brake and the racking and, you know. But that's one uh, rule that he he did allow at one time, and then he eliminated it because there was too many headaches with it. Yeah. Well, Jason's trying to get something going here. Let's make this nine. And now it is six, six of three. three. You know, like getting back to the jump queue, if you're capable of using it, yep. and you uh, you perfect it, sort of like using a glove, sort of like using a special chalk, yeah. like a movie. If, if that's part of your arsenal, right, uh, and it's available to everybody, it's not like a limited market that's only available to the top 16 in the world. Yep. It's available to anybody. Right. And they take the time out to practice and perfect it right and you have the same ample time or whatever the case may be then so be it it should be allowed well you know it's funny too because i just i was just talking to nelson uh this weekend about it and he actually i, I all i shoot with this q tech anyone who knows me knows i shoot with q tech um he was actually hitting with my q tech jump cue and he loves it right and uh Six ball this time, yeah, one ball on the side, the cue on the ball. The cue ball tracking. Oh, boy. Wide open table, and Jason looks like he just told yeah. the stewardess on the airline to hand them a puke bag. He couldn't believe that cue ball was going in. Yeah, I, th I think he got... I, I actually, honestly, Al, I, don't, I didn't see if it drew in the side, if he drew it in the side or if it got kicked to the side. I wasn't To me, it looked sure. like it just drew it right into yeah, the side, but yeah. I'm on uh, natural high right now. It's going to be in the uh, wake. But yeah, there's not really many problems here for Mike here, and this is kind of textbook, maybe between the five and the seven. Yeah, it's it's going back and forth, but I mean, you can navigate it. Right. Well, but, I mean, um, they're having a discussion in the chat, and you know, most of your world championships they allow jump cues. Right. You know. Well, going back to what so I was saying earlier, if it's sanctioned that you could use it, right? Then why not? What I was saying with Nelson, he fell in love with my jump cue, and he's like, you know. I gotta buy one of these because you know, in the Predator Tour, I guess they do allow. Them. And I asked them like, a lot of tournaments they don't allow jump cues anymore. So why would you buy one if you can't use it? Right. And he goes, well, you know, when I go out to New York and they play the Predator Tour, the Predator Tour allows them. All right, what a smart shot Mike just played prior to the shot here, where he moved the seven away from the short the rail pocket. near the pocket. Beautiful shot. Oh yeah, actually just pull that at its best right there. And a couple of my friends actually asked me, you know, I want to buy a jump cue. And I'm kind of telling them, yeah, you can, but, you know, you can't use it. A lot of rooms, you can't use it. What do you mean by a lot of rooms? Well, one of my one of my rooms I play in, the Crows, that's a class down. Oh, they have the signs, no jumps, no mass yes. on the wall? Yep. Yeah. That, that's been, that's really old school. Yeah, they have it. Cause the, but well, if, you, if you get a guy that, that that's on tour, sort of like a Mike DeShane or Jason Shores, the only going to say, hey, you can't jump? Yep. He is? What? Sorry, I missed that. Is the owner of the room going to tell one of these guys they can't jump with their jump cue in their room? I don't know. In other words, you said there's signs so. on the wall. No, right? yeah, I, yes, I agree. Um, oh. I, the the thing is, they just got brand they got brand brand new eight foot diamond tables, and I mean, but still, yeah, if it's one of these guys, I wouldn't think you. Know, they'd say you can't jump. Mike just well, he missed that eight and nine ball on the side, but he didn't leave Jason a hanger. Especially on this table in the fifty yard this, line. Is this a hanger? No, I said it wasn't no, I said it was not a hanger. Oh, look at this. The, yeah. How's the speed on that shot? That was a great shot. Decided not to take the shot and play safe. How's the speed there? Borderline perfect. <laughs> you got I have to say you gotta go for the bank shot here. Yeah, I would think. You gotta go for it. You're up six to three. You got room, you go for it. And he did. He did, but where is he going to... Oh, he's going to leave it in the corner, I think, for Jay. Yeah. Getting interesting. 6-4, Jason Shore is about to break. If he should sink this nine ball, he's going to make the score 6-4. to four. It sure does. He's breaking. There's another game in progress, yeah. and another sheriff trying to get elected into office right now, and his name <laughs> is Jason Shore. Yeah. 
what a shot he played, though, to play safe like that on that nine ball that he shot. That was a great shot. See, I, it's funny because I thought he would have just gone for the cut on that nine, but he was 50-yard line, and it's much better. The, the safety he played was just phenomenal. That's the shot that won him the game, too. Yeah, absolutely. You know? Yeah, it was a very smart shot, and, you know, left him pretty much rail to rail and left him, left Mike a bank. So figures, hey, you know what? Take the, take the bank, Mike. If you make it, you earn it. If not, hopefully leave me a shot. And uh, he, he left him a ducking. I left him a, a duck. A duck. <laughs> <laughs> a turkey season, gobble gobble. <laughs> All right, when a D player can barely play the game and jump like there's no tomorrow, they cannot kick, they bend the ball. Well, who says they cannot kick, bend the ball, or play two or three rails? <laughs> I don't know that that jump you uh, thing is open for discussion. You guys have to yeah, get just... involved with that. <laughs> I think we opened up a can of Jason worms there. Jason sure. <laughs> going into game eleven, he trails by two. It's six to four in favor of Mike Deshane. There goes that four the, ball and the cue ball again. Four three ball. The four went in, then the three yeah. ball. He's, right, he's got though. a shot. Yeah, he's got a shot. And it's, uh, he, he's got a shot. You're right, right Whoa. in the side pocket. That camera with that speaker, that autofocus. <laughs> they gotta fix that. Gotta get I told Eric about it already. He's got a he's got a shot in that side pocket, come around the table for the two ball, just like that. Nice shot. I didn't think that the uh, jump cue thing would be that big of a discussion. <laughs> Everyone's talking about it now. And Jason goes two rails, get up a little high on the five ball, yep. and just drift down for the six here. <laughs> Wanted to get up a little higher, but he's okay there. Now he's just thinking about the seven ball position. Wait, well, he, he can just roll down for the to go under the eight nine and then. Well, he can go six. in front of the eight nine too. Yeah. Just coming down like that. I don't know if he actually got there. He oh, did, I all. guess. Oh, did he? Yeah, he got Yeah, that. he didn't get there. Yep. So now, yeah, he'll, he'll probably... Man, let's, let's see he's following this up. No, we don't. Man, if we follow this or draw this? He likes to draw it out. He came Easy. up a little shy. He wanted to play it in the side pocket. Shy, shy a little too hard. <laughs> otherwise, you, kept, you got the corner, too, if you hit it easier. But Eagle Eye at his best. Let's we'll see what he can do. Need a sharp eye for this one. Down the corner, a little bit of English, outside English, on the other side of the nine, eight side pocket. One, two. Oh, that nine ball. He's fine. He can actually bounce Yeah, he's actually going to, yeah, he's going to use a nine as a bumper. Just cut this eight in the corner. And then bump the nine. Look at this. How do you like that? Um, oh. I know Jason's liking it. I know Mike's not because yeah, it's going to be probably. six five, and yeah. Jason breaking and one game behind Mike Deshane. As you hear a few spectators start clapping for Jason sure I guess there's wages going around this room right now oh, it's yeah, usually sure. action oh yeah it's action city down here I mean there's our you know other games going around the room here the other winner side match is actually tied at three apiece between Ron and Jeremy. The other ones don't exactly know the scores, but Nelson and Jared are playing. Nelson Alvera, Jared Amalia, and Clayton Rocha and Tim Perry. And then on the other side, you got 
that your buddy from Colorado, Mike Helmer, playing Dave Fernandez. That's a loser side match. Yep. All right, here we go. Set to break. Watch the six ball. Break it from that side. Six ball should go right in. There it goes. One almost in that same side pocket. I got news you. right. You're looking at a six six ball game right now. Yeah. Even though it's six to five. The three and the nine make it a little tricky to get on the two ball. But uh, let's see. Actually, he three ball goes. It's, there's no problem with the yeah. three going into the corner. No, I'm saying to get just to get from the one to the two. I mean, let's see. I think he's going to draw. Yeah, stun it over. Uh -oh. oh, it's for that. Got himself in a jam. Did you put the hex on him? No, I. I thought he. <laughs> honestly, I. I'm only kidding. I, I thought he would have stunned it over like that, and he just. He just slid a little too much on him. So now he's looking to kick. He's got to kick to that long rail. It wouldn't surprise me if he kicks us right in. Though. He kicks really, he kicks very well, and he almost made that. This is where Mike Deshane takes his break. Oh, did he take a break? Oh, no, he doesn't have a cue stick in his hand. Yeah. Well, just went out there to look. Now he's going back and getting his weapon. Yeah. Saving his break for later. I think the rule is you get one bathroom break per match. No smoke breaks allowed while your match is going Neither on. Neither one of these players smoke. Yeah. And we got him behind the five. Jason can jump with his break cue, though. He can. He's looking at that 3-9 to see if it. Possibly banking the 2 into the 3-9 here. Or kicking. Oh, can he see the 2? I thought the 5 was blocked. I didn't think he could see it. No, he can't. No, see it. yeah, no. Going to the air. Yes, sir. Yes. Up, up, and away. We got to mention you can see the hustling patch. Hustling clothing on Jason's uh, shirt. He banked the ball right in. How do you like it? Jump, Jump bank, bank. And he looked at the 3 9 prior to banking that. What a shot. Eagle Eye went to the air, went flying. What a shot. And yeah, that's a great shot. Jump, bank. Wow. And looking to put safe behind the four if he got he him. Got, yeah, he got there. You bet your bottom dollar he did. What a shot that and, was. Uh, oh my god, I can't believe it. Mike's out there shaking his head now. He's shaking his head because Jason gets on the shot. If Jason gets on the shot, table, he can make this six six. Then a race of three. He hit it. Where is he going to leave it? Going to leave oh, a shot. Leave my shot the corner. You want to talk about a tie ball game? How do you like a race of three, Al? I like it. I agree. Keep in mind, Mike DeShane won this event last year, and I think he either beat Jason Shaw in the finals or I, Jeremy Sosie. I, I think it was Shaw, actually. Don't quote me on it, but I'm not sure. But if I'll he find did, out. yeah, I would, 
bitter, bittersweet revenge for Jason. He does hit him good. I guess. And... 66, folks. What a tough crowd this is. I would say that has, the crowd has to favor Mike DeShane. I didn't hear one applaud for that. No, I agree. And it was six, I mean, this six. is his home room, but I mean, yeah, I agree. What a tough crowd. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now, both these guys are shooting great. I mean... You think this is a good match? Wait till you see this one right here. It's February 11, 12, 13th, and 14th. 100,000 in the middle, 100,000 large. Dennis Acolo and Shane Van Boning are going head to head. It's a race to 160. It's going to be a race to 40 every one of those days. And if you get on board right now with the uh, pay per view package, you can purchase for $29.97 for four days, basically $7.50. After February 1st, it's going to cost you $14.97 a day. John French, Dave Coles on board. We'll be up there at the Carom Room to bring you this action. Everybody's been waiting for this match to take place. Well, both yeah. players started barking at each other, and the match is taking place yeah, starting got... February 11th. Back to the match at hand. Jason Shore set the break at 6-6. It's the wing ball. Nothing went in. Nope. How funny is that? Nah, I got I got goosebumps <laughs> thinking about that match. I mean, oh, nah, there's this break. There's the break. I yeah. knew the break was coming soon. Six six one break time. Yeah. We're gonna run through some of those uh, ads that we have there in front of us, guys. <clears throat> uh, Want to let you know that we'll be uh, heading right down to Castle Billiards in East Rutherford, New Jersey, December fifth through the sixth, and you can see right there on the flyer, Jason Shaw won it, Oscar Dominguez won it. Mike Davis Jr. won it. We're going to be there to see who wins it in 2015. That's December 5th through the 6th, a free live stream. Beautiful room. John Triviano and Minnie and Scott Simonetti and Barana, the whole crew. We're coming down to see you guys. We can't wait. And don't forget, AccuStats is going to make it happen once again December 17th through the 20th with Darren Appleton, Shane Van Boning, Kevin Chang, Torsten Holman, Jason Shaw was the first one invited, and the mighty Earl the Pearl Strickland in a 10-ball invitational. Make sure to uh, keep abreast with uh, AccuStats.com. I'm not going to lie, you got me curious about this Earl Strickland thing. <laughs> yeah, you'll, you'll see it soon. And how about this? The Great Musical Journey. New album that our man right in the chat there, the one that's uh, shaking his head, I think SMH stands for. Great musical journey, home for the holidays, Jarrett. Arasamina, I'm trying to get his name right. Uh, home for the holiday album just came out. His release, he was the one that played the saxophone at the U.S. Open, the national anthem. And he just came out with this Christmas album. He wanted me to give uh, a couple of the albums away right here to our chat. Is I do not have the time right now to hold that contest. If New Jersey pool player and Jarrett want to get together and uh, do some kind of a contest and uh, do that with uh, Jarrett's new album and give a couple of them away for the holiday, you know what? We want to thank Jarrett and Connie and everybody that's uh, affiliated with uh, producing that album. Uh, we want to thank Phil Capel of BilliardsPress.com. We want to thank Molinari. And don't forget, we'll be heading up to the Turning Stone uh, January 7th through the 10th. And that'll be a free live stream. That's January 7th through the 10th at the Turning Stone Casino in Verona, New York. And uh, when that ends on the 10th, we'll wrap it up and we're heading straight down that same night to Steinway. And on uh, January 11th, it's uh, Dennis Acola versus Copigny, I believe for 10 or 20,000 right out of Steinway. I don't have the graphics on hand. Somebody's making those up. And we'll be bringing you that pay-per-view from there also. Mike DeShane at the table. We're tied at six apiece. We're facing the night. Copenhagen, the one that won the U.S. Open, is that correct? Copenhagen is the world champion, won the world yeah. championship. The one that won the U.S. Open is uh, 
Kevin Chang. Oh, okay. Right, yeah, that was a world championship against Shane. Okay. That side of the table is a little bit of a mess here. But the chain can really work a road map here. Four wall, come down for the five. I actually, I believe the six plays past the nine. The six goes in the same pocket as the five yep. ball. He's, he'll be fine here. Might be a little tricky though from the, set, from the six to the seven. Let's see what happens. Got yeah, a little funny. Yeah, I did. But he's okay. He just got. This is a shot that you really got to roll, and cue ball doesn't hit the seven. It just rolls out two rails. Different. You play the seven in the same pocket. It's like playing one pocket. Yep. Nice shot. Which I believe Mike also does play one pocket. I think. Mike, what? I think Mike also does. I think Mike also does play one pocket. Any top player plays just about anything in the world that has to do with something on the felt that has holes in it. Yeah. <laughs> and even ones that don't have holes. That's such true. As three cushion billiards. Absolutely, that's true. I play three cushion billiards. That's that's a fun, that's a fun it's a, game. It's a beautiful game. Yep. Very beautiful game. Mike shaking his head here. I'm not quite sure why. Nah, he's okay. Yeah. Mike DeShane goes up by one, seven to six now. We're racing a nine. Steve Sutton. Goes by the name of uh, Sutton Death in the chat. That is most me. Most of the time. Sitting in the booth. Everywhere there's multiple tables playing everywhere. It looks like, because I'm looking ahead, Tim Perry and Clayton Rocha. It looks like Clayton's on the hill, and Tim has four right now. Clayton threatening to take that match. Back to the action. Mike actually switched sides. Watch the three ball. Right in the hole. And he does read the rack good. Mike looks like he might go back and forth here and play the sixth ball in the corner. Shoot the six in. One, two rails back up. And he's got angle on the six. Go one rail back up to the seven. Fooled me. I thought I was going one rail up. He went two rails back, which works even better. 
just a little bit of inside chop, come back up, for this eight ball in the corner. That fall is up one rail, and he's dead nuts in the corner for the nine. There you go. Mike DeShane to the hill, 8-6 to six now. I think if Jason gets a shot at this table, Jason's going to take a break. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a good call. <laughs> I think that's a good call. But you, you said <laughs> keyword if. <laughs> yes. That's... See what happens. You know, Mike's on the hill and he's breaking, so... Looking over the rack, one side, check the other side, Jason stands there patiently waiting, in case he has to fix it. It's good. <laughs> Double check it again. Switches again, so I want to watch the eight ball. And oh wow, it was actually a two ball that went in. And one of the three. Eight ball lays a little funny next to that nine ball. The one and look where he left it. Well, Jason didn't take his break. No, I, I, I thought that thought actually been a, a good time to do it, but. Jason just wants to get up there and fire him in. I do have to say that if I was a betting man, I would have bet the same thing. And he hit that. He hit that great. Four in the corner. Maybe I bumped the one of these balls here. Yeah, I bumped the ball. Let's give himself some more room. Eight toward the corner. Beautiful shot. That was a great shot. Absolutely. Five in the side. Roll up for the six in the opposite side. Corner. That is completely wrong. And. Is that to do it that way, which works. He's pretty straight in this nine ball. Eight seven, Eight, folks. Seven, Put this. the harnesses back Shoot. on. Strap yourself in. Jason's breaking. Wow. 8-7, we could be looking at a hill-hill between these two players. Jesus. Uh, you still have Ron Costanzio and Jeremy Sosi shooting it out on the other side of the winner's bracket. Yep. And that match is 5-3 uh, in favor of someone. I'm not sure. Uh, I think it's in favor of Jeremy, I think. And the, winners, the winner here and the winner of that match will be playing each other for the hot seat. I'm pretty sure we'll have it on this main stream table. Yep. If not, we're going to go over there and start twisting some arms at this point of the match. I mean, this part of the tournament. Yeah. What a safe that Ron just played on. Jeremy, wow. So you got the giant killer playing the undercover giant yeah. killer on the other table. Yep. That's true. <laughs> Rack them. Jason's going to check it out. Oh, 
Good enough. That's where he breaks from. We're going to be watching for the. I think it's a 38 ball? No, it's a 4 ball, sorry. 6 ball on the other side. Yeah. Oh, the 4 the ball. 4 ball, wing side, ball, yeah. right there. Yeah. Oh, cue ball again. Well, He's. 3 is going to come into play. Yeah. No, it didn't either. He's no, got a 3 the, rail safe shot. 5 here. ball, yeah. No, he doesn't have really a. Whoa, that camera nice. with that autofocus is driving me crazy. <laughs> I don't know if he's got the angle to play the play three rail safe. He's playing a bank. Look at this wild cue oh, ball. Oh, no, look at this. And cue. I don't mean wild that it's out of control. He put cue ball on a string right there. Yeah, that's a heck of a shot. I don't know if Mike can see that or not. Even to clip it, I'm not sure. He might have to curve it. Well, he can make it. He's mapping out his direction towards the two ball. He can make the one. That oh, he can end. make the one. Yeah, if he's looking at the direction towards the two, he can make the one. Oh, I didn't think he could. Yeah. Whoa. That camera's on that auto focus. I got to get hmm. that fixed. <laughs> yeah, and where's that cue going? Behind the nine. Uh, just when we need the overhead. <laughs> oh no, actually, I think he can make it. Rail first? Yeah, maybe. Spin it? Yep, Ooh. possibly. Would you, spin, would you like to spin this in and give your opponent a chance to go hill hill? You really got to shoot this with confidence. Oh yeah. No? He shot it with confidence. Yeah, well, this you know this is wipe its feet going in, but he's gonna still hit, drop. He's gonna fire this one though, because I mean he's gonna the five is on the opposite side, opposite rail. Well, both of these players can fire long distance shots. Yeah, and right in the heart of the pocket. Well, Mike, he's a little smirk on his face. But he knows he's got to come with a shot. Yeah, he's got to come with the shot now. Where do you play? I said, where do you play safe? But he's gonna, he's for the shot. Look at this. Oh, I thought he actually made it. And the angle off the three to go to the five for Jason Shore, and he might be able to tie this up at eight apiece. Oh boy. The six seven, he's gotta make sure he gets good on the six here. He's good on the he's good on the five, the angle on the five. Gonna come right to the center of the table here. Yeah. Oh he got there, Al. Oh wow. I did. I tell you, this this is gonna be a hill hill. This is gonna, hill. Regina Goulding, I mean now the people on uh, out here are uh, six rows deep oh my God. around the rail. They can't believe what's taking place as they're about to watch a hill hill match. Yeah, look at this. Oh my God, guys, hold on. That's what I keep saying. Hold on, right? It gets exciting. It's like the hair on your arm starts yeah. standing up. Oh yeah. You know. Hill, hill, folks, right yeah. here. To out of the four winners, these two are hill, hill. We'll be right back. Stand by. Jason Shore, take a oh, yeah, take a break. What a match we have for you guys. Race to nine, Hill, Hill, Shaw, breaking. You know what? I don't know about you guys, but I'm on the edge of my seat right here. This is insane. Mike almost made the cut, and then he almost made the bank, and uh, left Jason the open out. I'm sorry, I was talking with uh, Regina here, Steve Golden's wife, uh, an owner of uh, the room. Hey, I'll have a question, Regina, please ask Jason, what is the size of his tip? 
eight foot eight. In the shoe. It looks like a 12 millimeter. It sounds like it sounds like a personal question. You know what? Send, <laughs> send them a private message on uh, social media or something like that. I'm not going to ask him what kind of tip he's using. You know what? Or, you know, if we should get him in the booth. He likes to come in the booth. And you're still in the chat. You can pop that question to him. Uh, NJ Pool Player says he knows he's playing with uh, Mucci Pro Chef. But we, we can ask Jason that question when he gets to the Oh, thank you, Jared. I appreciate it. I like being in the booth. Someone said 11.75. Jason sure just bumps into Mike's to change break you and it hits the floor. Oh, Jesus. And that's Christ. what they're upset about. That's what Mike's upset about. Uh oh. Words transpired. I didn't, it's, you know, it's a mistake. Yeah, I didn't exactly see what that happened, happens. but yeah, I mean, yeah, accidents happen. Hill Hill. Jason says, no good, no. Mike. Yeah. Who's this, Jarrett? Yeah. The famous jazz musician and singer. Oh, okay. He's Errol in your uh, advertising the album for. The album for. Yes. That's true. Yes. Well, there's wages. There's wages on it. I can hear. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Yes, I can hear people in the background. You're waiting to get paid your money. Yeah. No, be, now this is becoming difficult to rack, huh? Yeah. Hill, hill. Oh, well, everything's riding on this one rack. So I mean, Jason, you know, I just want to make sure he gets a good rack here. I think George Rodriguez and Dave Fernandez are set to play the next match. Coming difficult. There it is. See if Jason agrees if it's a good rack or not. And it's good enough. Let's go. shot from Mike. Jason kind of laughs uh, to himself as he walks back to his seat. Sort of like, what happened? Yeah. And Mike's, you know, Mike's got an open shot here on the one. Oh boy. I could wind up a table, not many problems here.
Hmm. Really on that six ball. That eight ball could be big unless he, he's just gonna draw it. Be straight and just draw it straight back to the six. Or is he following it? Oh, he's gonna follow it. Two rails up? Yeah. Two, three rails up. That's a nice shot. He's pretty straight here. He might follow this again. Might be the same shot. Follow two rails up. Maybe three mates at their rail. He doesn't like it though. got kind of straight and what's going to happen is he's going to force follow this up and spin it he's got to really spin it and he's afraid to catch the eight, the eight if he ball. spins too sharp yeah. he's got to come out long he's going to have to use some kind of reverse maybe or just flat ball and try to bounce straight up and just bypass the eight ball here right that that's what he's doing or he's going to draw out of it and i i don't know what he's going to do he's flattening yeah, the ball out he's yeah. just hitting dead center ball he's going to try to get the bounce he did. Yeah, he did. And where is he going to land? Oh, boy. This is not over yet. Believe it or not, this is makeable, but also a safeable. Yes. You know, by thinning the left side of the seven ball and bringing the cue ball possibly behind the eight, nine area. But you want to thin this to a point where it just rocks the seven. And I think he's cutting this he's, he's going for it. He's, 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 he's going for the juggler. Know, he, he wants to. He just can't pull the trigger. <laughs> Well, you know, it's, uh... well, you know, players this caliber, you don't want to give your opponent another chance at the table. If you can get out, you get out. You know, because, you know... Yeah, if it's feasible. Right. I mean, but, you know, you, you try to play a safe, and then your opponent safe, so you kick safe back, and then all of a sudden now you're in hot water. So he's going to keep cutting this in. And he overcut it. Overcooked it. Oh my God! And Mike forfeits the, the, the match. match, and Jason Shore moves on. Defeats Mike the Shane by a score of nine eight. Oh, we yeah. will see the likes wow. of Mike the Shane. He's far from out of it. Oh, we want to thank Mike. Steve Sutton for sitting in. Yeah, thank you, Alex. Sutton Appreciate Dutt. it. And uh, we'll be back with another match. Give us a few minutes to set it up, guys, and we want to appreciate it. And thank you, everybody, for. Uh, Hanging out, and we got plenty of action coming up as the cream is rising to the top. We started out with 90 to 91 players. We'll be right back. Thanks, Steve. Thank you, Al. Appreciate it. Oh, he overcooked that.